Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl IJ. If this is your first time stopping by, I'm pleased to meet you. I am excited that you're here for this video because this video is so special. Like seriously, it is special and I can't wait to tell you what how special this video is. But if this is your first time watching me and you haven't subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Girl, boy, hit on the subscription button and do not forget to turn on the bell button as well just so that when I upload, you'll be notified. So, this video is all about this particular palette like this baby right here. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Rivera palette that just came out like, hey, you see that bling bling blong. <laughs> anyway, like the palette is just so, it looks so nice. I like the white, I like the blue, like, hey, it's so, so beautiful and I like the gold writing on it it's beautiful and uh, when you open the palette um you open the palette please. when you open the palette you see the colors right here you have some beautiful colors the colors are just so versatile you can use them wherever whenever you can find something and this is one of those palettes that you can just throw into your bag and you go you know you don't have to worry about having two palettes three palettes just because you don't have enough colors but the only thing about this palette i don't like is that it doesn't have a black color it has this black color that can be substituted for the black but hey you know black is black at the end of the day you, know? you do need black okay but anyway i really do like this palette i like the fact that it comes with a mirror which is a big plus and one amazing thing about the palette that makes kitchen easy or that makes Demoing and tutoring easy is the fact that the eyeshadows have, have been labeled so they have names under the eyeshadows so whatever shade I'm using I can just call the name if you have this palette I can just call the name and you know exactly what I'm talking about so that some of us who don't know how we don't know colors you know me I don't know color like that no, some of us who the see they call pink the see they call you you know it makes it very easy for us to you know Say the colors that we're using so i can just call the names without biting my tongue i can just call the names without wondering if this is blue or this is pink or this is yellow but anyway i just like the flag and i like the packaging i like the fact that it's like a magnet like seriously like it just snaps back in and you don't have to worry or bother about it um, opening up or maybe the color spilling out or something i don't like the color spill out but anyway it comes also with a brush which is really nice i use this part of the brush just that right here as um to um blend out my underneath um to blend out my, my bottom eyes or something this part i didn't really use but this part is actually falling off but anyway this brush it wasn't that bad it's not the best of brush but it wasn't that bad either so that's how this palette is so in this video we're going to try let's see if this whole beautiness also applies to the colors inside let's see how pigmented the colors are let's see how if they apply easily smoothly and if they're patchy or if they're not patchy so let's stay tuned i need you to stay tuned to see how i created this look using just this palette and i'll talk to you at the end of this video thank you for watching thank you for staying tuned So I'm going to find my eyelids and I'm going to use the um, color pop no filter in the um, no filter in the with touch really too much painting for my sister. So I'm going to use the color pop no filter um, concealer. This one right here and this is in the shade deep beige 45 and 45. I love this concealer. I like to use this concealer just because um, it's very um, it dries quickly. So it makes um it makes work much easier because when my when I apply concealer when I use concealer as my eyeshadow base and it doesn't dry completely or properly it tends to crack or something I don't know if anybody has experienced that but that's what I do experience so I prefer to use this because it dries quickly so I'm just going to blend that out with my hair white brush that I use to blend my I'm just going to blend this out. The first color I'm going to use as my transitional color or you know, as my transitional shade 
is um, Estee. I'm going to go into Estee and then you have some kickbacks so that's okay. And I'm just going to apply that into my crease. Oh, it almost looks the same color like my, um, like my eyeshadow base like the concealer that I just used. So I'm just putting that into my crease. You might not really see that color um, so well because um, it's almost the same color like the, like the base that I just used. And you come with the blend so easily, which is a bit of a bit of a plus because with some eyeshadow palettes that you use and just blending it out, it's going to um, be less catchy or something, but this does really need that catchiness, which is a big, big, big plus, quite seriously. So that's just it on my, my crease, and that looks amazing already. The next shade I'm going to use is Mon Monte Carlo. No, hello. Monte Carlo. So I'm using Monte Carlo and I'm just putting that just on top of that same um, transition. So you guys see how to do it with color pan. Like this is like powerful. Um, and the one thing in this palette, one thing that I really really do love is that it comes with matte shades and it also comes with shimmer shades. At the bottom row of the palette you have to see your your um your matte shades and then at the top part of the palette you have the shimmer shades which is really nice. You can see how beautiful that color is. Like this is amazing. I swear my God is powerful. Tell me what you think about this color. Like this is beautiful. I don't even know what other colors you use next. Like seriously. Okay, I know what to use next. I'm going to go into Cairns, and this is a nice a purple color. And I'm just going to put that into my um, crease. You see the brush I'm using? It's kind of almost flat because I want that color to be concentrated just right into my crease. It's blending, though they stick, they stick back on the pan, that's okay. You know, it's no more for most eyeshadow colors to have that. You see how it blends like properly? I'm going to go into a smaller blending brush and I'm going to take that color. I just want to pack that color right into my face. So I want to put the intensity of that color. So I'm just going in for the matte and just packing that. Same type of cane, or that same type of color, and it's all cane. And I'm just packing that into my crease. I'm just cutting out this color just so that if you, 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 you have it, if you want to at any point you want to use the palette and you want to, you know, you want to create this look, you know exactly what I'm using. You know, most of you guys you want you want me to be like cutting out the colors and things like that. So it's easy. You just, you just have no easy. I think I tell you straight. This is not easy. I try not to talk about it. I don't know what it is. So I'm taking it high a little bit, but it's not meeting the yellow color of sorry the pink color that we used earlier on. And you see, I'm but I'm dragging it down into uh, my inner to the inner side of my eye, like right here. It's just uh, I think I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to dive into Pam. Pam is a nice dark brown shade and I'm just going to keep that on top of that purple color because I want the outer edge to be a little bit lighter. So to cut my crease I'm still going to use the color pop no filter concealer. Now when you look up you can that like helps you know where to cut the crease. Sexually something like that. It's a nice um color is that blue. So for foundation, I'm going to use the Bondi Sway. This is a Too Faced Bondi Sway foundation. Um, and I'm using the shade Better Pecan. Okay. 
for, for concealer, I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty um, concealer, and this is in the shade 360. For the highlighting areas, I'm going to use my Lower Mercier 7 Plus Rose 7 powder. This one right here. going to use my MAC powder. This is NC50. I was talking to somebody the other day and she was telling me to do I'm just going to line my waterline right now I'm using the black eye pencil. I'm so tempted to use this paint right here and that's Bahamas. I'm so 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 tempted to use that paint. set my face and I'm using my favorite and my all-time favorite setting spray and this is a continuous mist by Morphe. So for blush I'm going to use my all-time drugstore blush and this is the Master Clone, Clone Blush blush from Maybelline. This one right here I'm sure you guys have seen me use this thousand times. This is the best drugstore blush and this is my all time, not just best drugstore, but this is my, the best blush, highlighter, so it's a blush, can I say blush? No, highlighter that I can use, I love the gold, wow, you see that? Wow! Boom. There we go. So for blush, I'm using my matte blush and this is the B65 blush. This is the Amberry Rose. Amberry Rose blush. And I'm just a little bit. Just like so. I don't know if I'm wrong. Just like so. Hmm. So this is from LA Girl. This is the LA Girl um supposed to be an eyeliner that I know it does not leave.
So my lips, I'm going to use this lipstick from this is the Colourpop X Shiller um, Collab and this is a common lipstick right here. So guys, here we go. This is the finished look. I hope you guys did like this video. Like seriously, I love this look. I love, 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 love this look. This is one of my best looks I've created. In again, like a makeup. I seriously, I love, 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 love. I just love the fact that the eyes look so warm. They look so amazing. I like the fact that it came from here and the blue right down here. Like it just makes everything look perfect. So, if you did like this video, leave a comment for me in the comment section below. If there is any color that you want me to use on this palette, let me know down below. Please note on my WhatsApp, leave me comment under this video on YouTube. Say something. If you did like this video, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. That goes a long way. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, girl, I don't know what you're waiting for. Boy, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit on that subscription button. Do not forget to turn on the bell button. Just like I said, when I upload, you will be notified. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will talk to you in my next video. Until then, remember that you are the original the original babe in the house no counterfeit no photocopy nobody is as unique as you thank you for watching this video i will talk to you in my next video on today stay blessed and just be yourself just be loving just be caring and love yourself remember ciao